All right, so I just made Omnis Nebula Zelda's Holy Relic, and it's actually not bad. So it's basically going to increase our basic stats by up to 15%, as well as Zelda's own damage dealt by 20%. It's quite nice. He's passive, of course. He's going to increase our attack-related stats and decrease the enemy's attack. We're going to get some basic stats from Mr. Rosa. We're going to get some attack-related stats from Kusak's passive, as well as decrease the enemy's crit chance and crit damage by 20 and 30%, respectively. And of course, we have Melee here. I am running the Demon card set. The gear I have on them is attack crit on Melee and HP defense on everyone else. I'm pretty sure Kusak has HP defense gear. I didn't quite check, but it shouldn't matter. He's gonna be a backline unit. Now, this is a little bit unfortunate here. But they are running just straight up all crushing here. Uh, can't kill the melee, but I can kill Esther Rosa. Or Escanor. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna attack with melee first. It's a bot. It's actually a bot. This is actually unfortunate because I was actually facing a... I did actually make a recording just now but i didn't have my microphone on i had it muted in obs i was talking and it was such a good recording i faced a, like a 386k cc player and i won it was a mirror match exactly like same team and it was actually really nice but unfortunately here we're facing a bot as the first match but it's whatever it is whatever we're just gonna have to see like i can't get debuffs on them unless of course i attack with like a single target with zeldris here which i might do so it's basically gonna kill his own escanor there i might have even be able to kill the melee if I do this, now nah, that's gonna cleanse melee, isn't it? Alright, so I'd have to do this, we will do this and that. Yeah, we're gonna have to hope that this is enough. So melee will of course heal. He won't heal back to full or anything with those attacks, but... Oh yeah, we're gonna kill him easily here. Alright, I don't know why, why I was worried. <laughs> and hopefully we can get like a Zelda's victory screen. It was... Unfortunate, I did actually get a Zelda's victory screen against the actual player with 380k CC. But here we're just gonna have to hope. Um, I can get Zelda's uh, victory screen here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do one of these attacks and then I'll just go like that and hope that that kills. Alright, and then we're just gonna face players. We're not gonna face any more bots, we're just gonna face players from now on. Alright, look. There we go. Basic stat increase. A shame, dude. A real shame. Man, I'm still kicking myself over that match, but it is whatever. Here we have a demon team. A mirror match, basically. I don't know what he has as like a backline unit. Very good start with melee there. I'm actually really glad about this start right here. I'll be able to deal so much damage with like the AoE. So, of course, he misses me. Evasion food is not gonna apply like the darkness. And he's gonna try to go for my melee. Um... I didn't quite, like, pay attention to the CC. Is this a bot? Please don't tell me it's a bot. Yeah, it's a bot. Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. Why? Please be a player. Oh, another demon team. Let's go. 380k CC. This is a player. It's not the 386k CC big boy I faced. Although, I'm not sure. That's probably not even, like, close to, like, what you can actually get with the demon team, I suppose. If you have, like, Eskinor in the back, you can probably get close to, like, 400k CC in gear right now, right? Probably even more. Like, what's the max CC you can get? We've already broken, like, the 400k CC mark, haven't we? That depends on, like, the box CC you have. But this is most definitely a player, so I am happy about that. It is a mirror match, and he's probably not gonna be able to kill my melee here. That is good. So, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna see if I can't kill the melee, or if I can kill the Estarosa. Uh, I can probably kill either one, it doesn't really matter, but I'm probably gonna go for the melee. So, we're gonna do this. I am gonna go for this card right here, and then we're gonna kill the melee. That's gonna be two attacks. The melee won't be protected by the darkness attacks, uh, or his own darkness, I suppose. So, it's not gonna be any damage reduction. My melee will have true magic. Yeah. As long as I crit at least once. So let's see who he has in the back. My melee is fully healed, but I will get encroached next turn. Chandler. All right. Here at least I can get like a nice Zeldris gold card, even if melee dies. So he's going to apply the darkness to us, prevent us from being able to heal. And he's going to spin with Testarossa. Yeah. That deals more damage the more darkness you have, so of course. Alright, now it's gonna be interesting here. I can probably kill the Esther Rosa. He probably has Tarmir Grace on him. Zeldris will get his ult. That is unfortunate. Maybe I'll kill the Zeldris instead. So, we'll do this. Actually, I'll kill him with, with my Zeldris. That applies some more buffs. That's gonna increase our basic stats. This unfortunately doesn't kill, but this will. Yeah, my Zeldris is better. <laughs> but 
380 KC, see, that's quite nice actually. I do believe with this team, with my Kusek being like not having full like cosmetics and uh, or even upgraded cosmetics and being like 1626, whatever he is, I get like 276 or 78 KCC with CC food, so not the highest. Um, so even if I would have run like CC food, I probably would not have been able to out CC any of these players. Uh, but I will debuff them again. That's going to increase my attack. I just see Zelos' attack. It's going to also increase his own damage dealt here. And both of these units will get... Uh, actually, I'll do one more attack to apply another darkness there. And then we'll do that. Esterosa will also be encroached. So let's just see here. It is a weak point card. AoE. I mean, not bad. Not bad for, like, not not being able to crit. There we go. Victory animation. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. At least against a player, this is good. So, yeah. Let's just keep going. Now, I'd like to face some other teams with actual players. Unfortunate, it's a mirror match. Is it the same dude again? Oh, it is. Well, I got some nice melee cards here. Uh, I could potentially kill whoever I want. And that's gonna be nice, actually. Um... Ah, uh, yeah. He's doing the smart play this time. All right. I will be able to kill... Would I be able to kill two players? Or two units? That is the question. Because uh, this is going to deal a lot of damage, right? I think enough to kill the melee. And then we'll just throw that out there on whoever. Oh, that might not be. It's a good thing I targeted him again. Yeah, it wasn't enough. But at least he is dead. So he wasn't able to use his melee. He has a silver card. He's going to be able to kill my melee quite easily. And of course I was able to heal back to full because of the Meliodas cleanse. True magic buff, you know. Now next up, I will be able to encroach Asterosa, kill him. Or at least have him encroached. So that is at least something. He's going to try to kill my melee here. All right, he did. And the final attack is going to go on. Zeldris. That's good, Zeldris lived. So let's just hope you get some nice cards here. Maybe some merger. All right, all right, let's go. Can I kill Esterosa with Zeldris? <laughs> I should probably not like bank on it. And I should probably just use two cards here with Zeldris. Two AoEs maybe. Actually, I'll do a single target and then that. Just in case, for whatever reason, he lives. At least I'm, like, removing uh, an alt gauge orb or whatever. Alright, depending now, he might be able to encroach my Esterosa as well. But at least I got a Kusek card. This a Pierce card. And they won't be able to heal here. He's gonna do an AoE with Chandler. Something with Zeldris. Right, so now my Zeldris is encroached. And he's dead. That's a lot of card gone. Oh, wow. All right. So we are getting some Kusek cards. We're going to reduce their crit chance here. Hopefully this kills the Esterosa. And then the Pierce card can go on whoever. Nah, no way. <laughs> am I even running gear on him? I probably am. Like, 320 KC. Yeah, I probably am. It might just be blue gear. As you can see, I have him at 1-6. It's a weak point single target ultimate. Really bad, but whatever. At least he cannot kill my Esterosa. And I don't think he will be able to survive here. Did he attack with Chandler as well? No. Right. I will be able to kill the Zeldris with my Esterosa. And uh, we'll do this. And that. I could have left him on Encroach, maybe. But at least we'll kill him here. And then it's going to be two against one. I don't think he can do anything with Chandler. Chandler is super weak. Like, his attacks don't, don't even tickle, you know. And I do have two ultimates, so unless he can kill, like... He has a gold card, though. I mean, I want to see the gold card. Let's go. Ah, oh, almost. A good game, dude. Oops. I meant to do that one. Uh, we'll do this. Why not? I want to see his ultimate. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> At least we applied another darkness, which is going to increase this one's damage, but yeah. <laughs> like the difference in damage is very, very nuts. I'm, I'm just going to wait like a minute before I queue up to the next match so I don't face the same player again. 
All right, an Archangel team with Goddess Liz or Light Liz, I mean, not Goddess Liz. And that's actually good for us. That means that we just need to kill the market once and that's it. 360k CC, this is potentially a player. His champs three, this is gear though. And I'm actually not used to gears. I'm not used to like the super, super high crazy damage numbers. He's probably checking who has Carmel Grace. Sees that he's melee, testing for dodge food. And then he's gonna try to kill me. I'm not sure he is gonna be able to, even with a silver card. He's actually going faster also. Oh, he wasn't able to. Now he disabled himself. Uh, that is another like debuff. We have two debuffs there. That's gonna be six percent basic stat increase from Zelda's at the moment, and then this is just gonna max it out. I am gonna do this. I'll I'll actually bank on this killing the the do the market there as well. So. Even with the increase to defense from Nanashi in the back, I think this is gonna kill. Because it is a silver slash card. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs> like I said, I'm not used to like the gear damage numbers. <laughs> but that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, good game, dude. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna take this final match or this these final two matches or whatever, however long. 89 KC, you see that's crazy, dude. Uh, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to just talk about like what's been going on, why you haven't seen so many videos from me re recently. Uh, I feel like I've been uploading like once every three days, two days at most. And it's just been like such a bad time for me recently. So it all started like a couple of weeks ago when my PC was having like troubles. I did upgrade it and then I felt like, yeah, I might as well just make some videos and stuff and, like I still did. But I still felt like, you know what? I have a new PC, 4090 graphics card. I kind of want to like just see what this PC can do. So I've been playing like really high end games on uh, maximum ray tracing, maximum everything. And I've just been enjoying my myself, you know. And then after that, I got COVID, which of course prevented me from uh, like making a bunch of videos and stuff like that as well. Because I, I was like super sick. Like most people don't get that sick from like this new Omicron or whatever this this newest one is. It just usually lasts for like one week. For me, it lasted almost two weeks, and I was like super sick. Uh, like ev every day, I, I went through like two cycles of having a fever, not having a fever, then having a fever, not having a, like it was just at the time. My throat's been hurting. Like I've been coughing up a storm, and that's like what's been going on recently. Since uh, basically I'm, I don't have COVID anymore, but my throat is still kind of weird. You might be able to hear it from my voice. All right, I was able to kill Melee. That's good, dude. But I've also been like feeling super, super tired recently, like not really motivated to make too many videos. I think that's going to change, although this week I do have like 70 hours of work. So I probably won't be able to make too much this week, but the week after that, I, I don't have any work at all. And I will probably be able to make quite a lot of videos there. I'm just going to go and get Zelda's his, his ult here. I do wonder. Yeah, we can kill the Asterosa easily with Zelda's. That's gonna remove some of their basic stats as well. So now he has two units here. He did get a merge with Sandra, so he got his ultimate. That's crazy. And I think I might lose here. But yeah, and like anytime I try to like record a video, I've just been coughing so much. And it's just, I, if I'm to edit those videos, I have to like make super big cuts because I just get a coughing fit. And like the game is still playing, you know, <laughs> my units are still attacking. I can't really just mute it. It's gonna look really, really weird. Hopefully it doesn't deal too much damage here to my other two units. That's gonna deal a lot. All right, at least I'm alive. So this is an AOE. I can encroach the Zeldris. Might be able to deal enough damage to where his Escanor isn't gonna be able to kill my kill my Esterosa. I think that's what I'm gonna bank on. So this at least puts some more basic stats for us before I do this attack. But yeah, coughing up a storm. I haven't been able, like I tried to record some videos, I tried to record, oh my god, he got his ultimate. First he got his ultimate with Zeldris, then he got his ultimate with the one. That's just crazy luck, dude. I'm never that lucky. Like, ever. But he just gets it. 6-6 six, six Eskinor, of course. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's some bad luck, man. I'll just move on to the next and I'll keep talking. 
All right, we have a demon team with Zelris with the ugliest haircut I've ever seen. But yeah, I'll try to like make some more videos um, or more frequent videos about next week, probably. So do bear with me. I do have a lot of like work to do and I do get quite tired when I get home from work, especially now like post being sick and all that. I'll probably be like super tired or whatever, but my work hours are super long because uh, I am going to work 70 hours for the whole entire week there. Uh, but after that, I don't have any work, so... Next week, uh, do consider, like, you're, you're probably gonna get a, lo a lot of videos, so... Do look forward to that. Alright, at least I'm not dead here. I can kill any one of them. Uh, I'm probably gonna kill the melee, just in case. And then after that, he is gonna be able to kill my melee, but I think that's gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna do this. Recovery disable. Apply some more darkness. And then kill him with the silver card. Uh, but hopefully we get some like good content next week on Global. Uh, we'll just have to see what JP gets uh, this Thursday. Maybe it's a new story. Maybe it's like a new Ragnarok story even. And we get like a new Ragnarok unit. Perhaps even like the Demonic Beast unit. We can only hope. Uh, but again, we don't know. They haven't released a new Ragnarok story for a while. And they said they were going to ramp up the story. And... Um, with that, I thought like maybe once every six weeks or so, but it, it, it feels like it's been longer than that since we last got our Ragnarok story. I'm just gonna kill my melee here. That is fine. I am gonna be able to encroach his units, at least one of them. Now, should I leave Zeldris alive? Probably. So this is an, another AoE here. I can actually encroach both of them. I'm gonna do that, that, and actually I'm gonna kill Esterosa with, with my Zeldris here. But yeah, hopefully we get a new Ragnarok soon. That's really all I want. Um, because I'm having some trouble with like the, the Demonic Beast there. Alright, that's it here. But yeah, I'm having some troubles with the Demonic Beast. I hope we can get some new Ragnarok unit that is gonna help us. Like, beat it. Because uh, unless you're a whale and unless you have like Mile 66 and stuff like that. 5666, I do believe. Is the requirement to quite easily beat Floor 3. It's gonna like be a while until we actually get like one of those Ragnarok units. And if we get a good Ragnarok unit, Megelda wasn't it. But if we get a good Ragnarok unit, that is gonna be able to like provide us help with the demonic beast maybe it's someone that supplements like whatever Megelda does and we're not actually gonna go for like the angel team or whatever making freya's holy relic even weirder than it already is um, yeah anyway that was the demon team really fun team i got this elder holy relic it just makes me a little bit better of course uh you could potentially even run like the other Zeldris, though this Zeldris does increase our basic stats and attack related stats, whereas the other Zeldris just increases our basic stats. So in basic stats and increases the enemy's attack related stats. That's basically what he does. This other Zeldris though, where is he? Zel he of course increases our attack related stats here, decreases the enemy's attack and then also increases our basic stats by 15% and increases his own damage dealt by 20. So yeah. Really fun team now. Um, of course, it kind of gets countered by really good like Archangel teams because you cannot debuff them. Uh, of course, you then if you're like thinking about, of course, at that point you could potentially replace Esterosa, though Esterosa with his darkness provides basic stats as well. So, but anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, I guess I catch you in the next one. Bye.